Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to DVD at Impera with yours truly, your first beer Primus Pilots. We are back with the Republic and we are starting out with the Battle of Alalia. And yes, yes, this is not looking good, but we might stand a chance because we have cavalry and they do not. That unit does worry me though, but we'll see, we'll see. Right, let's get in there. Let us get in there, because we might be able to take care of this unit with the cavalry. And I'm hoping we can win this. Now, last episode, I truly believe, I haven't read all your comments and feedback just yet, because I record two episodes back to back, usually the Tuesday and Friday episode. This is the Friday episode. In the last episode, I do think I made a couple of very serious strategic mistakes. Um, I, I really do think that. I, I don't think we should have... I mean, I do think we should have done the preemptive strike that we did in Africa. But I think we should have retreated once we shot them up with the, uh, with the artillery for a bit. So I think we should have placed our, our entire army a little bit differently, and I don't think we should have I don't think we should have stood there and fight. I seriously underestimated their experience, I think. So that was not good. That was not good at all. Uh, and that leaves us with a bit of a mess in Africa, and it's actually very dodgy at the moment, because the, uh, the, uh, the new party that we have in our republic, the Italian allies, they might uh, they might uh, betray us, and that could be very, very bad. Uh, once they start betraying us, uh, let's take a look at this though. Once they start betraying us and we have an issue in Africa, yeah, things are going to be things are going to be very iffy. We'd lose the Primus into Pares. That could actually still happen this end turn, I think. So, yeah, things are looking very dodgy at the moment. So this episode, we're going to try and win the peace. That is basically what we are going to try and do this episode: win the bloody peace. Right. So, what are we going to do here? We, I think we're going to give them this city center. We're going to try and find us. We're going to try and find us a location where they... Um, and that actually should be this. Where is the reinforcements coming from? They're coming from there. That is actually good. So what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try and put these guys up front over here. We're going to try and do that. We are going to have these archers stand over here. We're going to do something with the morale. Do not uh, start walking there, please. Let's have these men stand over here. These men should start firing their pillar once they can. And then that is actually it. Now, they might try and go like this, which is going to be fine. We'll see. Yeah, some will. Where's the reinforcements? Come on. Our reinforcements have arrived. Okay, they're splitting up, which is actually good. Okay, they're splitting up. That is good for us. Missile infantry at your command. And the double. Take aim. Archers. I kind of just wanted to get a zing single volley out, but that is not going to happen because of the hill. Okay, let's start moving them back then. Now still, we might be able to take care of this unit with our general. Okay, let's turn around the fire here. What the hell are they doing? Come on. Our general is under attack. Get the cavalry in there, come on. I don't know why that is so iffy, but just gonna have to go. Come on. And preferably take care of them quickly, but I don't think that's gonna happen because these swordsmen are way too close. That is a bit of spears in the rear. Okay, this is good though. We're just gonna have to tank the spears. Yep, that's it. Good. They're shaken already. There's more men coming in. A little bit of luck will get them off the field quickly. 
Yep, they're done. Right, let's get everybody out. Just get out, get out, get out, get out. Come on. Okay, let's fire at them for a bit. Okay, that is that, that is good. A little bit of luck will take them down. I need them to stop firing now. Just turn around. Come on, let's get that general in there. That is it, good. A little bit of luck will take down this unit. And then we'll focus on the next. Yep, there to go. There to go. General. That's it, that's it, good. Let's just get rid of them. Archers. Now. We need the archers to start firing though. Yeah, let's just get those shots out. Okay, I'll have them fire a will now. If they don't want to move, I'm fine with that. Let's just soften them up a bit. Okay, they want to move now. Ooh, that was bad. That's a lot of Ready for orders. a lot of missiles. We're firing into their rear, though. Okay, let's throw what we have. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, we might be able to do this. At your service. Attack their position. Swords. Italian swordsman. Archers. Okay, now we need to go. Start moving. These are nice rear shots. Okay, I'm gonna switch you over to firing at them. Come on, get in there. Nice. Okay, I was kind of hoping that would do a bit more morale damage here, but doesn't look like that is the situation. Yep, we're doing morale damage now, that's good. In the meantime, we'll try and soften up these guys. Unit winning decisively, that is good. 166. 164. We may want to go for another charge. 163. 61. Ready for orders. 
Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, got some nice arrows in. The men are wavering, that's not good. Yeah, we may want to shock them again, though. In melee combat, even. Okay. Get him out. Let's shock them again. So we're losing men now. Let's get in. Get in. In, 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 in. Come on. Not sure about that charge. Yep, there we go. That's it. That is it. Come on, please break. Please break. They're broken, good. Okay, I'm gonna have you stop firing for a bit. So we need to do this right. General against general now. How are you doing for fatigue? You're winded. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for their fatigue to get back up. Okay, I'm gonna move them up a bit. Standard shot, what is that doing? What is the flaming shot doing? That's morale damage, right? Less damage, though. Okay, what I want to try and do here is I want to try and see if we can turn these men around just by distracting them with the general here. So that we can start firing into their rear. Because they are slow and we are going to use that to our advantage. Okay, there's no formation for these guys. We need to start softening them up. How about you turn around, buddy? We gotta wait for stamina anyway, so... That's it. Yep, you go turn your back. Nice. Just not getting through their armor, eh? Now, I do think it will soften them up, though. Okay, how are we doing for stamina? We're still winded. Okay, stop firing for a bit. I gotta need to get their stamina back up. Fresh. These are still winded. Active, good. And switch the fire just to get the first bit of morale damage out. Right, here we go. Okay, taking you out of the phalanx for a bit. One of our 
units is used all its ammunition. Yep, I'm even gonna bring in these archers. Stop. In. Okay, we need to do this. General in. This is looking good. This is already looking good. That's it. Spire. Everybody in. Okay, they've lost quite a few men already. You may want to cycle it here. Combat even though. Get in, come on. Okay, get him out. Let's get the uh, let's get the cavalry out. We're gonna do another another charge here. Which way are they facing? They're facing that way. That's it, that's it. Get in, get in. Let's charge him now. A single shock might break him here. That wasn't a nice shock from the rear, though. That's it. Okay, let's actually get rid of them. What a single general can do, eh? Beautiful. Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy that we were able to defend Alalia. Because that means that we don't have to deal with this mess anymore. And that we get some recruitment in, which is very good. Because that means that the next, uh, the next revolt is going to be more easily won. So yeah, I'm happy with this as a start of the episode. So let's uh, let's see, let's see if we can make up for a couple of those tactical mistakes or strategical mistakes on the last one, because I do think we've made some mistakes on the last one. I also think we did some good things, though. I also think we did some good things. That first battle was very good, on the last episode, the battle at uh, Topsis, and then I think we did well with um, making sure Massalia doesn't attack uh, Medlan, because Massalia didn't attack Medlan because we had that legion out there to lure them. And then we retreated the Legion and they weren't able to get to us due to movement. So I think that was good. I think those were good things. I just think that what we, what we did with the Primus Interparis going for a preemptive strike, I think that was a bit of an issue. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I'm actually going to ransom the captives again here. Now, the main threat at the moment is the Italian allies. And they didn't. Oh my god, that is amazing. Right, uh, I'm... Let's counter the rumors here. We can spare it. Right, cultural differences present a challenge to anyone who controls foreign lands. There are, however, ways to encourage foreigners to accept our mastery. Um, that is very good. Plus two influence all provinces, um, neighboring provinces. Ah, hmm. It might be good to spread our culture a little bit more, but I think we're going to go subjugation, though. Because culture is an issue here and there. Let's go subjugation. Diplomat with a generous tribute, that is good, we needed that. And you have returned home, that is good as well. Desertion, yep, that is that legion over there. New political election, port settlement under siege. Slave revolt in Sicalia, rebellion in Africa. Okay, are they besieging this port? I don't think so.
Can we not get our fleet over there? That is annoying. Okay, unseasonal conditions, construction report, that is quite a bit of construction, that is good. Personality report, quartermaster, we've had a bit of recruitment, which is good. Shipwright, the year in history. So, okay, deaths, Greece, Roman Republic. Rome besieges the city of Agrigentum, which is held by Carthage under command of Hannibal Gisco. Um, Rome's siege involves both consular armies, something, a total of four Roman legions, and takes several months to resolve. The garrison of Agrigentum manages to call for reinforcements and a Carthaginian relief force commanded by Hanno comes to the rescue and destroys the Roman supply base at Abessus. Nevertheless, a few skirmishes, the Battle of Agrigentum is fought and won by Rome and the city falls. Gisco manages to escape to Carthage in the late stages of the battle. After the loss of Agrigentum, the Carthaginians retire to organize their fleet. In the meantime, the Romans sack Agrigentum and enslave its Greek inhabitants. The Romans are now determined to drive the Carthaginians out of Sicily. Already on it. Already done here, my friend. Now, you're going to be able to get to Carthage. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get the fleet in, in on it as well. If we were to take you to Carthage, like here, would you be able to reinforce them? So let's just take a look. If we were to do this, there's nobody reinforcing this. I think they've blockaded this fleet. That is so annoying. That being said, I also think we can win this naval battle. I'm just thinking here. I'm just doing a little bit of thinking. How may I serve you? Okay, first things first, we need to get rid of these things. It's going to give us a little bit more money and this city is going to fall anyway, so... Yeah, we're not going to be able to raise a fleet nor an army. It's actually the pirates besieged, uh, the pirates, I think, are blockading this as well. So what I think we need to do here is we need to make sure this fleet takes out this navy. Good thing we've recruited a good thing we've recruited a bit more ships here. Now, this should be taxed again because we're getting a revolt here anyway. Right. Um, we have a quest here, right? We have an objective. Okay, we don't really need that. So, I'm actually going to look for something else then. That's going to give us more public order, more loyalty. Plus six loyalty. That's good. More wealth from region. That's only four turns. I'm taking that. Yeah, we're going to have to... Um, we're actually going to have to fight that naval battle. Let's get these men out first. They're actually able to get to Medlan. How about you? You're not able to get anywhere. Because you're being blocked by this army. They've actually ensnared us here. Uh, we could go for an ambush. No, we can't. Okay, you need to get out. That is for sure. Just go over here first, and we'll see what we do with you later. Let's get some mercenaries if we can here, because this might be a battle. They might declare war on us. 
Don't know how many more turns we have with them. Come, come. Let me hear yeah, none. So that is going to be a defensive battle that we might need to fight here. It's going to be the same over there. Uh, let's try and get rid of your movement. Not successful, okay. This legion might be done. Yeah, let's do let's do it now while they're weak. At least that's not a victory. That's a little bit more uh, loyalty. Minus 28. Make haste, men. You need to focus on public order. This needs to be a public order legion. Less banditry, more public order. It's more income from trade, faction wide. Take that. Trying to look for public order here. That is less banditry. I think we'll take that then. Let's get a local bandit. So that is a minus 24. If we do not tax this, what happens? Minus 17. That means that we don't get a revolt. I'm happy with that. We have to fight this naval battle. Here we go. My God, we need to win this. I think we're going to be able to, though. I think we're going to be able to. Yeah, because their ships are not as strong as ours. I think we're just going to be able to ram them. I think we're just going to be able to ram them. Go for the first line first and then go for the second. Might be good to have rain now. It's just going to be dry, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. They are spreading out. Okay, so, how are we going to do this? They've got some ships behind this. Rude and ready. Ready so we could start ramming all of them, I guess. Now, that is our general. One, two, three, four, five. We've got five of these. Five of these good ones. So what I think we'll do here is have these five take the center and punch through. So that means like that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Then 
then we're just going to have to hold the flanks, I guess. God, I'm anxious about this one. Let's do this. Our reinforcements have arrived. Ooh, we've got reinforcements, right. Okay, you need to go there. You need to go there. You need to go there. And you need to go there. You need to go on that one. You take that one. You take that one. You take that one. Then you are going to have to go for this one, I guess. You're going to have to go for this one. You're going to have to go for this one. And you're going to have to go th for this one. Let's take a look at how this works. Let's take a look at how we do. We should be able to at least punch through that center. Yep, that's one. Okay, you need to push through. You need to start moving. You need to start moving. You need to push through. You need to start moving onto that flank. We didn't do right here. Can we push here? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, you went through, I guess. Push through. Our general did well. Go, move. That is not looking good. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, we'll have our general here. I can't be everywhere at the same time. That is what making things very that is what's making things very difficult here. Come on, let's punch. Push. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That one, that one, that one. Okay, we need to untangle this bit. Really trying my best here, my friends. But this is difficult. Okay, he's gonna punch there. Got him. Somebody get rid of this, please. Okay, let's move you around. Push. You need to turn around. That is a Quinchar Reem as well. We're absolutely winning this bit, which is good. I don't want this to happen here. Don't want them to push. I don't want them to sink this ship. And they might. They might. We just need to get this guy out of here now. Yeah, no. Yeah, that was bad. Okay, you. Why can we not push this? To the rear, to the rear. Okay. I think we got him. What are you doing? Come on. An entire unit has perished. I know, I know. Okay, we got that. Good. We've got that one. Okay, we won. We won. Don't board. Okay, I'm actually curious to see how many of those Quinchai rooms we've lost. Come on, get him out of there. These naval battles are tricky, let me tell you that. Okay, Quincharim. Really, we've lost three of them. My god. Did we lose three of them? That is awful. That is awful. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. We're not going to be able to catch up to them, are we? No. Well, we at least got rid of this situation. Yeah, we've lost three of those Quinchar Reams. That is bad. I think they really focused on those. My god. But still, we got rid of those Carthaginian pirates. Which is a good thing. And this might allow us to um, 
do something about the situation near Carthage. Because that situation is some situation that really worries me. If possible, I would like to see if we can get the Primus Inter Pares into the city by sea. If that is going to be possible, that would be great. Ugh, we've lost too many of those Quincha Reams here. Why is it that whenever there's any pirates on the map, they always choose to attack us and not our enemies? Bloody hell. That is something that I would like to know. Get the hell out of there, pirates. Because they never seem to bother anybody else. They always seem to bother, you know, us. Okay, well, at least we've... Um, at least we've made sure that this port is uh, open again. Now, let's see what we can do with the Primus Interpartis here. Nothing. I really feel like this should be an area where they could potentially get into the water. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Right, let's get you in. For now. And I just want to take a quick look at the balance of power. Okay, that went... <laughs> oh god. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Is there any way to get any legion into the city? Ready for battle. Commander. Okay, there's quite a bit of mercenaries that we could pick up here. And I will. Now the thing is, they're not going to attack... They're not going to attack the city, they're going to attack the Primus de Paris. Oh, you know what? Before we do anything, we need to make sure that faction is secured. Send you to Egypt. How much? Yeah, 2k. Okay, I'm gonna be okay with the minus one. I'm really just thinking about the situation right now. I'm not... not... I am gonna do this. Okay, failed. I really want to get this legion into the city. Okay, they are being reinforced. They are being reinforced. And resupplied, so that is good. I'd rather have them into the water, to be honest, because if, if they decide to attack the Primus Interpares here, they will also have to deal with our navy. And that is fine by me. Commander. 
Okay, so this way we won't get a revolt, which is good. Things are still building here. Food is looking fine. What is the biggest issue? Cultural differences, yeah. Culture is going up, though, so... And there's a lot of... There's a shrine coming in next turn as well, so if we just survive this one more turn, I think that will be fine. Now here, I will recruit mercenaries. And I will actually recruit more mercenaries, I think. So let's merge these. Let's actually get rid of you. Let's merge these Astadi. Get some more Cav. Get some more of you. And then we could have some more Arches. Our Arch is going to be more valuable. Yeah, we got to merge this too. Merge that. Merge that. Get two Arches. That looks a bit better already. Then just to make sure, let's upgrade this. Upgrade this. Okay. Okay, okay, it's looking a bit better, I think. Well, this is not looking better, but if they were to attack the city, they would have to deal with the other legion as well. Okay, now I'm 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 going to do this differently. Okay, let's 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 just take a look here. Yeah, that is doing a lot on public order. Too much, one might say. Returning to land. March until your feet bleed. And march some more. Okay. Oh my god. Ready for battle. What do you wish of me? You're doing a job. I am so sorry. I think the Apuani are going to are going to declare it on us. At your command. And there's no way for us to get out of here. Unless... On the move. No, I think we're fine, actually. Because it's winter. Don't think they're going to be able to get there. Ready for orders. Commander? Advance at once. It is a great and glorious thing to die for Rome. Ready for orders. How many troops in Milan? Quite a few. Ready for battle. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. How much will we get from Alalia here? Yeah, we're going to tax this. You can be in a patrol stance as well. I don't expect any difficulties there. My god, this situation. That is the issue. Now, these men are going to declare war and they're going to take Tapsus. Carthaginians might attack. They might get more legions in at some point. Your 
Yeah, there's nothing more I can do about this, I think. Just gonna have to go to the next turn, I guess. Let's just take one more look at this, because we could merge the Triari as well. And get a little bit... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's just gonna have to be that. Oh god, I don't like this. Okay, let's go into diplomacy for a little bit though. So, Masali are strong, man. Speak. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed your tongue. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be like a spear and have a. Greetings! Speak plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be well. A sure thrust strikes home, after all. Greetings! Speak plain... Yeah, we're just gonna have to endure it. Greetings, I think we're just gonna have to endure it. Oh. You have my ear for your speech, and if it profits... Your embassy is most welcome. I... Greetings, honored guest. I sir. Be welcome. If I can give you a fair... We see... The blessing of the Olympians upon you. What then do your... No okay. Let's see where this goes. I'm gonna start with Carthage. I don't think they'll go for the attack. Nope. So we've got a revolt in the south. Which is interesting. But I don't think it's going to matter because the faction to the south is probably going to declare war on us right now. I'm really curious about this end turn. Really curious about this end turn. I'm really curious about what's going to happen in the north. I think we've done well in the south. I think we've repaired this bit a little bit, at least. I think uh, I think the south is less of a... Every turn we survive in the south means that it's less of a danger. We do need to lift that siege, though. I think if we didn't attack those pirates, they would have they would have gone for it. They would have definitely gone for it. Okay, the Massalians are retreating. No, they're not retreating. They are making ready for Midlan. But we have two legions coming in from the south now. So we might want to consider taking down their allies. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. But I'm really happy that we got another legion over there. With a little bit of luck, we're going to be able to get our legion out of this mess. The the legion that is in Genoa at the moment. So that it can consolidate with the other legion. And that is, there's been some discussion in the comment section about what to do with pirates and such, but um, I mean, if the settlements are well defended, I don't think we have to worry about them. 
Are you serious? Are you bloody serious? We're gonna have to push them. I mean, I guess that takes care of the pirates, but... So, the reason I would like to have a navy, or at least a bit of a better navy, and take care of pirates, is because of exactly what we just saw. We could also let them take Topsis and then subjugate them. Nah, no, I think that, no, I think that wouldn't be good. But yeah, that, there, that's the reason I basically want to take out pirates, because they will expect you when you least, or they will, they will attack you when you least expect it, and they will be the last drop, right? Because we're being attacked by the Carthaginians, and then all of a sudden we're also being attacked by the pirates. And now, now all of a sudden the Carthaginians and the pirates are actually, they're actually bloody, uh, uh, bloody allies. Like, what the hell? That is why we want to get rid of pirates. Okay, it seems like we can only ignore them, so... Ugh. Famous Bart, that's good. And another Famous Bart. And we've got the Rebellion in Topsus. A child has died, my lord. And we're bankrupt. Okay, we need to do something about that. Uh, slums have been created in Topsus. Iranian revolts, okay. Slave revolt imminent in Corsica and Sardinia. Increase in rank for a governor, that's good at least. Finally some good news. Okay, nice bit of construction coming in, that is good. Couple of recruitment units. Household expands, household expands. Slave revolt imminent. There's the Massalian fleet. It's good to know. They might go for Corrales. Okay, that deals with the revolt. There's the timer. Stop that. I want to play for a little bit longer. I don't think you guys will mind. Could we tax this again? Yes, we could. That means that bankruptcy is no longer an issue. How many men? Okay, they're taking a bit of attrition. These are slums. We're going to keep them slums for a bit. Okay, we're actually not able to cross the river. My god, that is clever. Clever, but annoying. Okay, we need to push the pirates first. Your orders. Bear down on them. Okay, that's good. How about now? Ready for orders. Yeah, there's no way of getting into Carthage from here. That is a bit of an issue. Oh, my lord. Advance. Okay, I'm not going to do anything for a bit. Till we know how we're going to deal with this. Okay, I think we'll put the Primus into Paris in if we can. We can't. Why can't we do that? We cannot sail there. It is an honor to serve Rome. All hands to the oars. Ready for orders. Maybe we don't put him in though. Right now, they're taking attrition. And they're not going to make the attack. If we put the Legion in here, they're going to take attrition as well, right? No, they won't. Because we still have an open, uh, an open port. Your 
Okay, but this situation is looking a lot better now. This situation is looking a lot better at the moment. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, my lord. Um, this campaign, my god. I'm gonna play for a little bit longer, though. We need to get you out of here. At your command. So let's get you over to here. March. My skills are yours. See if we can do something about movement range. We can't because we don't have any money. Uh, that means that we also can't recruit. Ready for battle. Commander. Commander. Okay, I am on the fence on things. We could declare war with uh, the Apuani. Because that is going to happen anyway, and that way at least we can get rid of one of their legions. How's the garrison here? Yeah, garrison is not good. How can I be of assistance? As you command. No further orders? Yeah, we need to start moving with this. Swift and silent. I think we're going to do that, because that means that we have three-ish legions over here ready to do something. They'll have three as well, though. But the Apuani are not getting reinforced by the... No, they might get reinforced by this legion. But if we get a little bit of money out of this battle, which is not going to happen, because they're probably going to retreat. And that would mean that these two legions are just going to go into the offense here. They're going to go on the offense. Uh, so I think what we do here is we actually lay an ambush. At once. And now we can't lay an ambush. Ready for battle. We can do it with you, though. We cannot pass here laying an ambush. Commander. Get the fortifications ready. Right, so the ambush should trigger before that. We need money, though. Come, noble. What do you do when you need money? You talk to Egypt. Health and strength be his has already issued orders to expel your merchants. Pharaoh, whose words guide my every thought, would laugh to Pharaoh, whose words guide my every thought, would laugh Really? Egyptian merchants would find it difficult to sell your foreign... Okay, so that's just going to be a trade agreement then. Oh, why was it high now? I don't know. I don't know, I shouldn't move that quickly. Um... Let's try Athens. Greetings, friend. A lack of your goods? Whoa. Oh, Hermes preserve us. Our women folk will be inconsolable. Probably. Okay, that's 3k. Macedon's gonna like us as well, so let's talk talk to them. The blessing of the Olympians upon you. A lack of your goods? Moderate. Oh. Mm. oh, Hermes, preserve us. Our women folk will be inconsolable. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold is usually offered in payment of service. 
We are not your servants, friend. Okay. The gods of Olympus rejoice when men show such. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Greetings, my friend. How does Epirus still hate you our gut? We basically, we basically my... dealt with Carthage for them. Ah. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to have this spy try and... Try to reduce their movement range. Nope, that's a failure. Okay, um... I'm just thinking here. I'm just thinking here for a bit. Where's that army of theirs? They had an army here. I don't know. It would be wise to speak on. The door is open to you, but if you wish to go beyond the courtyard within, speak. Okay, we're going to be able to get a peace tree out of this. I did not think you You think to buy us like catamites, like your Good. They might actually want to trade with us as well. Greetings, friend. No. Let I am here then. You have my attention. Now, do not try to charm Okay, and then these have declared war on us as well. I'm sure you have yeah. many pleasantries. That's what I thought. Me, but please don't bother. Talk of meat, not honey. Okay, they don't want to join the war against Massalia. Maybe we can have them join some other war, or we could just take the uh, take the money. They don't want a non-aggression pact. Guess we'll just take the money. You have spoken fairly, and I can accept for my people knowing that good will come of the day. I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because your people are known to have. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Anybody else that we could go to peace with? Not really. I want to raise this army, though. With the Italian allies. And the reason for that is... I think if we don't do it... If we don't do it, the... Um, He's going to spawn with a full stack of units once they uh, go for succession there. Let's just have you get a couple of spears, a couple of these. Because hopefully you're going to be able to protect Tapsus against this general. But that means that we need a little bit more calf. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So you could start recruiting again. get a little bit of recruitment let's get a little bit of recruitment here we need to win the peace that is what I'm trying to do here we need to win the bloody peace 
Now the problem is actually this faction. I need your wife to die for some reason. Or we need to start provoking you at some point, but we need we need peacetime first. Okay, let's end this turn. Oh. Right, you. That is very good. More wealth from agriculture, that is good. And more taxes and less construction costs, that is amazing. Okay, so only Corsica and Sardinia is not being taxed, which is fine. How's Sissel being Gaul doing? Actually fine as well. Okay, so this legion needs to become a legion that is just going to bother itself with public order. Right, let's go. And I think we're actually going to play for one more turn. Unless something bizarre happens. Like we are being attacked or something. Because I cannot fight another battle, but I think we're doing decent. Okay, yeah, we cannot have to... We cannot... I was really hoping that Carthage would make the attack right here, and we cannot have this settlement be besieged for too much longer, because, um, I mean, sure, they're taking attrition. We're not really getting any replenishment. Well, honestly, it doesn't matter that much. The only thing I'm worried about is that they could have reinforcements on the way. And we kind of do need to get this Carthaginian mess under control. Because that would also free up the uh, navy to start harassing... Um, to start harassing... Uh, Massalia. And Massalia might go for Alalia. Gotta be kidding me. Are they gonna are they gonna try and go for Carthage? They could. That could be the case. I do think I can wiggle my way out of this though. Alright, so Massalia is on the way. We need to be aware of that. Okay, I think we did well surviving that.
One of the nobles has a daughter who has proved herself useful as a mediator between the patricians and the common plebeians. You could hire her as one of your advisors on these matters. However, there are those in the Senate who openly oppose her and would be happier if the woman stayed out of politics. Let's try and get a political advantage. Okay, construction report. That's quite a bit of construction. That is actually good. We're not getting construction in Carthage at the moment, which is not great. But Alalia did get construction, meaning that we now have a garrison again, which is very good. Uh, it also means that we can start taxing this again, right? Yep, because we are looking decent here. Um, population plus unseasonal, unseasonal quartermaster's report. Quite a bit of recruitment, which is good. So we need all the men we can get right now. Let us take a look at where this uh, navy can go. So this navy is not going to get to Alalia. I don't think the navy is going to try something at Corrales, so we're all fine there. This might be a bit of a problem, though. We are taxing everything now, right? Yes, we are. Okay, good. So how much are we getting out of Latium? 10k. That is looking decent. Okay, so I would like to have this spy move over to here real quick, see if there's any Carthaginian forces on the way. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go steal some bread then. Um, then this... Okay, how's the attrition going here? They're taking a little bit of attrition. We hunger for battle. Yeah, we're just gonna have... We're just gonna have you cross. That is impossible. My god, that takes a lot of movement here. Ready for orders. And honor. Okay. Okay, let's free up that port again. Yes. You need to be in a different stance. Because they might move for Agragas. I don't see any other Carthaginian armies on the way, so we're actually safe to... Um, we're actually safe to let them suffer some more attrition. Now, I'm not sure what the effect is going to be on the capital here. I don't know. I'm going to give them the city. Okay. Okay, so where is the other Massalian army? That is the question. There. We're not getting any reinforcements if we do this. And they actually reinforce each other. Wow, that is clever. a thing okay I think we need to uh, okay um, we might be able to get these armies over here to attack. That would mean we've got three legions against there too. My god, okay, um, they will reinforce each other, it doesn't matter what we do here. 
they will reinforce each other. The thing is, we can't we can't recruit at the moment because we just simply don't have the money. So money wise, things are running a bit tight. Um, I do think this legion will reinforce this city as well. So if we were to go to war with the Apuani at the moment, we'd have to fight the Massalians anyhow. Basically, the way they've spread this out is actually really, really nice, because there's nothing we can do about this. There's just nothing we can do about this. So I think we have to wait for one more turn. We just have to wait for one more turn. Now, luckily, we are going to get some more money in this time, which at least is good. But yeah, this is getting iffy. I think what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push one legion over here and maybe um, ambush stance or something. Because we're not going to be able to recruit anyway. So we'll push you into... We can't ambush here. Forced in the stance cannot, cannot move. Why is that? 30% of movement. So apparently... Get the fortifications ready. Ready for battle. Is blocked. So you also can't do that. At once. Concealed from view. Okay, let's try this then. Ready for battle. Both armies might start attacking Midlan. If that is going to happen, then that just is what it is. We are still at serious risk, but if we get a succession here, if we get a succession here, we're still dead, aren't we? Should be able to get there next turn, though. Alright, let's go. This is what it is. Can't make anything out of this. Okay, that is more Carthaginian forces in the south as well. With a little bit of luck, they'll actually take Tapsus and let the rebellion be their issue. Okay, good turn on Carthage, uh, Carthage I think. Good turn on Carthage. Ah, let's do one more turn. Let's do one more bloody turn. I'm in the flow now. I'm in the zone. And this situation is so bloody iffy. It's iffy in the north and it's iffy in the south. It's, the, the problem is it's just one big stalemate at the moment. And the consequence of that is that we have no money to pump into our economy. Just because of the bloody stalemate. Okay, here comes Massalia in a bit. Okay, they've split up their legions. Which is actually going to be very good for us. So that means at least one of them is going to go down now. You are wise enough. 
as it swims. I'll be okay with that. They're on decent terms with uh, with the Greeks, but I would like to have a little bit of money for that. I think we've survived yet another turn. And now we're fighting the enemy on our terms. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, come on. They're going to want something here. Although I do think the rebels are going to take it right now, which is fine. We'll try and go for peace with them. At least the city is not in the hands of Carthage anymore. And it's going to be a bit of a buffer zone as well. Ooh. Something happened there. Alrighty, let's play one more bloody turn. Let's play one more bloody turn, because I think we can start relieving things right now. Hidden Age is exposed, that is fine. Political election, rampant piracy, yeah. Faction destroyed the Viviski. Oh. Right, 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 right. Here we go. We're actually getting replenishment in here. We're not getting replenishment here, though. Okay, let us decide on what to do here. No, let's go up, up top first. We've got a bit of money, which is good. This legion is isolated. Yeah, it's time. Ready for battle. Why can I not get you out of this? We hunger for battle. Why can I not take you out of this stance? We that is crap. At your command. I still think we should go for it. Oh, that is so annoying. Maybe if we move this guy over to here, we might be able to get you out of that stance. No, you're just locked. Can't do anything here. Probably because that army hasn't spotted us yet or something. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, they're running. And that is actually... They're going to get reinforcements from there, though. We hunger for battle. Ah, why can we not get that army out of this? What is the issue here? We hunger for battle. On the move. Ready for the Okay. Okay, that cuts them off at least. Make haste, men. But this is an issue. That's your command. We needed that army. We needed that bloody army. This is not gonna be a win. Should have pushed him the other way. Damn it. I thought... Nah. Hmm, doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter now. This is what it is. A couple of mercenaries would, would be nice here. Let's uh, jump over to Carthage first. So we need to start lifting this thing. Kind of right now as well.
Advance. Commander. Forgive me, but I cannot. Okay, wait up. Wait, 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 wait. At once. Commander. I was kind of hoping to get these guys over here, exactly where this guy is standing at the moment, and get into a fort. But I don't think that's going to be able to... Uh, no, we need to cross the river. If we, were, if we were to do this, we need to cross the river. I do think this legion is going to run into issues now, though. Yeah. Take a bit of wealth. Right, so now the question is what we do what do we do here? Ready for battle. Commander. That is a nice bit of replenishment. We for what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna advance. Take a look at the Primus Departis here. Give him what he needs. Okay, so we're getting decent replenishment here. We could take care of this Carthaginian army. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's do that. That is a good general. This is going to give us a little bit more experience as well. And it shouldn't cost us a lot of men. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay, good. Very good. Siege of Carthage has been lifted. We hunger for battle. You there, get to work. Uh, that. Okay, you're in a calm stance. Um, so now we can get over there. Yeah, so if Carthage is on the siege, we're, in it, we, we're having issues, but... I'm going to have the Primus Interpares replenish for a bit. I'm going to have them take up, so that is fine. I am going to have you stand right over here. Um, and let's get rid of some units that we don't want to have anymore. Uh, like that could go. And these can merge. And then you can go. At your command. We'll get rid of this cavalry unit. Okay, good. Whew. Uh, you are reinforcing... Are you not reinforcing Carthage? You are not. Let's bring you in a bit closer then. As close as you can get. Okay. Not gonna provoke them. Okay, I think we're finally getting things under control again, which is very good. That's 1400. I'm not going to do that. Man, if only we could remarry you. I mean, we should be able to assassinate you, right? How do we do this? 
How do we do this? Okay, that is not how we do this. But that is fine. Because that means we'll get new Italian allies, right? And maybe we can marry this one. Yeah, you don't have a wife. Good. Gravitas is too low. Okay, okay, so I tried to assassinate wife. I failed miserably, as you could see there. Assassination was successful, thank you. Um, what do we do here? We're not going to invest in Topsis, of course. We're looking decent here, uh, plus 14, that is, sorry, plus 4, never mind. How are we doing here? Plus 5. Okay, let's see if we can start... Let's see if we can start uh, constructing a bit more. Or we could get some mercenaries on this guy. We really need this to start happening. And I really want you to get out of your bloody stance. That is so annoying. Yeah, they might... They What they might do here is they might besiege uh, Medlan. And they might... They will probably try and... Um, yeah, they're going to besiege Milan, and then they're going to try and use two units to take care of this unit. And then we're going to have to retreat. And then they are going to dive in there with two units. It's so weird that we cannot do anything with this guy. That is so annoying. But it is what it is. We can't do anything with it right now. Okay, we can upgrade Cassentia. That might be good. Let's actually do that. And let us get a consecrated ground is something that we need here, right? Yeah. Let's get it. That can start constructing then. Okay, so I might want to... Get one more of these. Wow. Wow. Apparently we can get that. Which is pretty nice. Quincherim. Let's get another one of these. Hmm. That is good. Alright, let's go to the next turn. I'm really happy that we lifted the Siege of Carthage. I'm really happy about that. Now they are going to take Tapsos and we are going to go for peace with them. There will become some sort of buffer zone, I think. Uh, is there anybody we didn't move? No, we're fine. We're fine. We're going to call it quits on the start turn. This episode has been long enough, but I couldn't stop playing. I'm sorry. Don't think you'll mind, but couldn't stop playing here. And I think we did the right thing, um, getting our fleet back to Carthage instead of over to Massalia. I think that is the right thing to do. I think that was the right thing to do. Now, we do have to... We do have to worry about Corrales and such as well. And the good news is that right now buildings are, are being built up in Carthage again. The Primus Inter Pares is getting replenished again. That is, that is bloody amazing. That is bloody amazing. We needed that. We need to get some replenishment in Carthage. Because that way we can be able to... Uh, that way we're going to be able to throw the Carthaginians and the Massalians back into the sea. And I think we're only going to need one legion over there. I think if the Primus of Tapares were to defend Carthage on his own, he's going to be fine. And that way we can use those other two legions to start maybe harassing Carthage. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe just taking a couple of settlements, um, not to keep them, but to uh, to maybe loot them. Uh, sorry, sack them. Maybe not loot them, but sack them and maybe liberate some allies on that front. And I mean, sure, subjugation is not going to be the best thing here. Subjugation is always going to be a bit of an issue. Because if, uh, if you subjugate a faction, they are going to betray you. They are going to stab you in the back. That is usually what happens. 
Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have to think about that. We're gonna have to think about that. We're gonna have to think about how we want to approach that. Ooh, the Massalians actually didn't attack. That could be very good. That could only that could also mean that we should maybe deal with uh, Genoa while they're weak. Because Genoa isn't strong, and that would basically exile a couple of Massalian legions, right? Man, I wish I could keep playing here. I wish I could keep playing here. But I really, we really need to call it quits on the start turn, my friends. We really need to call it quits on the start turn. Hey, they've actually, <laughs> they actually decided not to besiege for a change. I do wish to annihilate them still, but we'll see. Now the rebels are going to attack. If the rebels don't attack, we might actually attack them. But I do think the rebels are going to attack here. Or... This random faction might just attack the rebels. Uh, we could also decide not to reinforce, but I think... Oh no, I might decide not to reinforce. Yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm going to decline the attack. Because we might lose some cavalry on this one. So I'm declining that. They'll be fine. They're fine. So this could mean that we actually might hold Topsus. How do I feel about that? <laughs> I don't know. We have a raiding Carthaginian army over here. I don't know how I feel about this. Alrighty. Uh, let's just go over that real quick. Because uh, this might not be here in the next episode. Right. So, a diplomat has returned accompanied by a famous bard. Right. Failed diplomacy. That is not good. A diplomat brought a death sentence upon herself. Ooh. Okay, Technolo technology, that is good. Siegecraft. We got Siegecraft. That was failed. No, mission was failed. High chance of succession. So it's going to happen soon. So, diplomat executed. Diplomat found her death. My god. Slave riots. Ugh. Where? There. Okay. My lord. Construction complete. Shrine of Vulcan in, Car in Caralis. That is very good. Faction destroyed. Sicilian pirates. That's good. Uh, unseasonal condition. Enemy army retreats. Ships built. And the year in history. Let's end with this. The Romans determined uh, to win control of, of Sicily from Carthage. Built a fleet based on the model of a captured Carthaginian Quinchireem. Righty, my friends. We are going to call it quits here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed if you like this episode, do whack that like button, subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. A special thanks for Commander Krunk for actually being a part of the Legion as a military tribune. Now, if you want to support this channel even further, you can become a member of the, of the, uh, of the Legion. Yes, a member of the Legion, a member of the channel. But for now, I bid you farewell. My friends, thank you very much. We're going to call it quits here. Bye-bye.